Over the years, Korea has become the new Hong Kong. Not geographically, of course, as that would take a trick of Copperfieldian proportions. But when it comes to making kick-ass action movies, Korea is the place to be. For decades, Hong Kong cinema had held this crown pretty much unopposed, and with good reason. This was, after all, the place that had given us Shaw Brothers Studios, Golden Harvest, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung, John Woo. Well, let's be honest here, the list is pretty much endless, and it had done so without anyone really challenging the throne. During what some consider the boom years of Hong Kong cinema, the late 80s and early 90s, these films were being seen more and more by a worldwide audience. And these new converts to this fast-paced, jaw-dropping style have now grown up or in positions where they can make their own movies and make them they have. Well, Hong Kong cinema seems to have become very stale of late, for every Ip Man there is a Choi Lee Fut, Korean cinema appears to be growing in strength to the point where even their remakes give the original versions a run for their money. Don't believe us? Get yourself a copy of A Better Tomorrow and watch it back to back with John Woo's original. Like we said, Korean cinema is the place to be. All of which leads us to The Man From Nowhere, which we personally consider the best Korean film ever made. Released in 2010, The Man From Nowhere unites writer-director Lee Yong Byom with leading actor Won Bin in the tale of one man's murderous rampage as he attempts to rescue his neighbour's daughter from a gang of criminals the child's mother had stolen from. At first, the gang, who are into every nasty piece of criminal enterprise you could possibly imagine, see Won Bin's character as nothing more than a pawn shop owner, but as the movie progresses, we learn via the local police force that all is not as it seems. From the first moment Won Bin runs into the bad guys turning over his pawn shop to the last seconds of the main villain's life, this movie just kicks much ass, but never to the detriment of the story. That is never an easy task, but one that the director manages to pull off quite brilliantly, constantly reminding you that the young girl Won Bin is searching for is probably going to end up having her organs harvested and her eyes plucked down. Taking into consideration that this was only the director's second time in the chair, and what could have been a plot device so sugary sweet it would have given Steven Spielberg diabetes, is turned into a strong, powerful undercurrent that drives at the heart of this film. This means that you actually care if she lives or dies. This is also in no small part to the relationship between Won Bin's character and a young girl played by Kim Sae Rom. Every movie needs at least one pivotal relationship, and a casting of these roles will usually make or break a film. Add into the mix that one of the main characters is a young child, and you're just asking for trouble. The fact that the man from nowhere never suffers any moments of horrendous ham acting is testament to how talented Kim Se Run was at such a young age, and how much of a bright future she had ahead of her. And even though she has stepped out of the limelight over the past year or so, if she ever does decide to return to Korean cinema, it will be a much better place. Which leads us to the main man himself, Won Bin. We'd never heard of him before we saw this film, but that wasn't really that surprising, considering that all he had done at that point was some television work and four feature films. None of which fall into our usual wheelhouse, but we think we can safely say without having watched any of his previous work, that The Man From Nowhere is by far the best thing he had done to that point. His acting is top notch and he kicks ass with the best of them, no doubt helped by being a black belt in taekwondo, and even though this was his first dalliance into the world of action films, he handled it like a veteran. Top notch acting, great directing and brutal fight choreography, The Man From Nowhere is easily worth two hours of anyone's life and was a stark warning to Hong Kong cinema that the title was up for grabs. Now don't get us wrong, we know it sounds like we're nailing the lid down on the coffin, but Hong Kong cinema isn't dead, far from it. And not every movie that Korea puts out is going to be of the high standards of the man from nowhere, but Korean cinema is still young and fresh enough to a Western audience that we can forgive the occasional turkey more easily than we can forgive Hong Kong cinema for walking the same old ground. But this could only be a good thing, right? Surely with Korean cinema becoming such a big deal, Hong Kong cinema will start being a bit more strict on the films that are released under their banner and we'll get a better quality of arse whooping. Maybe as fans were to blame as well, after all we've been pretty spoiled when it comes to Hong Kong action, and maybe we just started taking it for granted. But if you find yourself tired of trawling through the same rehashed ideas, or if you're just looking for something a little bit fresher, you could do a lot worse than checking out some Korean cinema, and at the top of that list, the place to start, it has to be The Man From Nowhere. But what do you think? Have you seen The Man From Nowhere? Where does it rank on your list? Sound off in the comments section, and let us know.